This is the first year that Indigenous Persons Day is recognized as an official county holiday in Dane County. There are 11 federally recognized Indigenous tribes in Wisconsin, three with origins in Dane County. WMTV's Tabitha Bland went to Central Heights Middle School in Sun Prairie, where the First Nations Intertribal Community of Sun Prairie and the school district hosted a celebration. Yeah, that celebration had crafts, activities, and food, and the goal was to teach community members and kids about the indigenous history of the land and honor their origin on Indigenous Persons Day. Yeah, our origin stories are here, and this is where we've always been. White Feather is Amanda Schaefer's Ho-Chunk tribe name. Like many in this room, Sun Prairie is home. Ho-Chunk is dominantly around this area up towards Black River, but we used to go all the way down to Iowa. Using beading, How are making you? some Indian corn. Activities and traditional healing practices, she keeps her people's traditions alive by passing them on to the community. To be a traditional dancer. Very proud to be able to share it all. And that people are showing up, it looks like we're getting quite a crowd. <laughs> they were saying that they really wanted to do more to celebrate uh, the Native cultures, um, the First Nations, the many different tribes that we have here in Sun Prairie to not only celebrate the history and the heritage, but also um, how it continues to live and um, thrive in our communities. And so um, Jamie Racine is the district coordinator that helped to plan the event. She says that the point of today is for everyone to learn. As we continue to grow, I'm still learning um, as an adult, and I'm happy to be here with my own kids um, to help celebrate today. This is the first time that Sun Prairie Community Schools has hosted an Indigenous Peoples event. For a while there, I was thinking that I was the only Native in, in Madison. <laughs> <laughs> but it will not be the last. It's just great to see people recognize, like, we're still here, we still practice our culture, very rich culture that we still have, and we're just grateful that we are able to celebrate that now openly. The district will be hosting a feast and celebration to honor Indigenous Peoples Month on November 7th. More details on that can be found on our website. In the studio, Tabitha Bland, WMTV 15 News.